Good evening and welcome to Shield Pro Wrestling Almost Valentine's Day But if you're looking in the ring right now You'll notice that there is definitely not almost any love in there Kicking off with some real high action here We've got Kendall Zumanov Who is on a bit of a winning streak at the moment Facing off against the man from the greatest country in the world Romania knee high and if you watched him walk his way down to this thing you'll notice that he gets very well shall we say anxious when people don't announce him as such never mind though he has to be announced as a wrestler because he's a very good one and he's already in control here in the early goings in this matchup even though he's using a somewhat illegal way to do it new referee Craig Burt here is already cautioning him for using the top rope as leverage to try and draw the breath and rake the eyes of Kendall Zumanov. But Kendall Zumanov with a sunset flip to a poor knee high who, well, punches his way out of that one, follows it up with a stomp. And if you are joining us here for the, uh, well, the first show we have here of 2017, it was the dawn of a new world, ladies and gentlemen. There was a new president, and there is the new president, so to speak, because both men are getting the job done and not talking a whole lot about it. So in his first match here of this card, Kendall Zumanov is coming in with a, a bit of an unbeaten streak. I haven't seen his shoulders pinned to the mat for the 1-2-3 as yet in the time that we've been doing these shows. Mihai, on the other hand, has got a lot more to prove than Kendall does on account of the fact that he has lost quite a lot of his recent matches. I don't think I've seen him win a match since Shields Pro started all the way back last year. I say all the way back, of course, that's if you're watching the show in November. If you're watching it in January, which is when we are doing this, it wasn't that long ago. But fast start for this company and a fast start for this show as Kendall Zubinov fights his way back to his feet to be drawn right back down to the mat by Mihai. Mihai shooting Zumanov off the ropes. Who catches him with a cross body, does Zumanov up to the second rope. Going for another crossbody, doesn't quite get it. Mihai, such strength. Drops him onto his knee and a follow-away slam, which nearly sends Zumanov out of the ring. He's teetering on the ring apron on the right on the outside. But Mihai, rather than being right back on the advantage there, has decided he's going to take some time verbally assaulting the audience. It couldn't be enough there to put him away, but it isn't. Two count. Found there by Mihai onto Zumanov. Who I must admit has struggled in the early going here. He's usually right on top of things from the early going, but on this occasion he is struggling to get himself back into it. Snap there by Mihai, who runs off the ropes. And is he going for ooh nice little kick? Which might have put him away again. He's got who could both the legs this time. Still not quite enough. Put him away for the three count. Much to Mihai's chagrin, who believes that a slower count would have somehow got him the three. I'm not quite sure if that logic works, but arguing with the referee is not going to do him any favours in the early going here. Mihai looking for that lariat of his, zooming off, off the rope. High shoulder tackle there, another flying shoulder tackle it looks like, yep he hits the second. And now going from corner to corner, from course to course with a splash. But has the Irish whip reversed into the corner, ducks under Mihai's attempted splash. Oh! Flying leg lariat on drawing the air out of the throat of Mihai. Who kicks out at two from a pin attempt there from Zumanov. And we, in the very early goings, have seen quite a lot of back and forth already. Now something about Zumanov is that he is a bit of a high flyer. He will use the ropes. And at this point he is climbing his way to the top turn, but well, he's a little bit groggy as he's doing so. I can't see I blame him. He's already been through the walls already. Mihai is still on his hands and his knees. Oh. Zumanov took a little bit too much time dabbing there and it cost him greatly as it goes crashing and burning to the map below. Mihai with... Oh! Well, he said check out the new move. That might be enough. He really chopped Zumanov in half. Looked 
like it was a wrist lock into an arm wrench into a clothesline and Mihai's clotheslines are something to be reckoned with it wasn't enough to put someone off away not in this early going oh look at this camel clutch applied and dragging Zumanov around the ring who is already at the bottom rope not really a lot of ring awareness there from Mihai. He probably should have dragged him into the middle of the ring first before attempting such a maneuver. But something tells me it was more for the fans' benefit, oh, well, I say benefit, to their detriment that they see their hero falling. But their hero is fighting back now. Zumanov with a nice leg sweep, going, hooking the leg. He's got it, he's got a two, but he doesn't quite get the three. Zooming off stomping away at the left elbow, it looks like, of Mihai. And if he can't use that arm of his, then the lariats are out of the question. Zumanov's up at the top rope. This is a high risk maneuver. Whether or not it pays off remains to be seen. It does because he drives the elbow into the heart of Mihai. And this is it. One, two, not quite three. Two and nine tenths. Ah, oh, that's a shocker. I honestly thought he had it there. He managed to hit the dance drop. He was looking for that sudden break of his. He didn't quite get it. And now Mihai has got him by the wrist. He's going for another clothesline. Oh, massive clothesline. I guess you can call out the chopper. But it's chopped down. Zumanov's chances of winning here. And Mihai brings Zumanov's winning streak crashing to a close. Oh, you put your hands on the referee, you're going to cause yourself into trouble. So Mihai, the victor for the first time in a long time, and that's pretty much enough of what we should see of him. Intimidating the members of the audience is not going to do you any favours. It's not their fault you've lost so much, you might have won this one. But I guarantee you Zumanov is going to get back into this real soon.